Hello, my name is Lake Trask and this video will demonstrate how to conduct an active traffic and demand management analysis in FreeValve 2015E. Before conducting an ATDM analysis, the user must first have completed a reliability analysis. For this video, we have completed a reliability analysis based on an I-40 example just outside of Raleigh in North Carolina. To begin an ATDM analysis, the user should select the Configure button in the ATDM analysis portion of the FreeVal toolbar. At the top of the configuration window is a menu bar containing options to configure the ATDM strategies as well as the plans. The large middle section of the window lists a table that contains information about each of the scenarios as well as any ATDM plan that has been assigned to it. This is a dynamic table and the list of scenarios can be sorted according to any of the characteristics displayed in the table. The right side of the screen contains information about the ATDM plans and lists them for selection for each scenario. The bottom table provides information about the base scenario as well as information about its performance under any selected ATDM plan. Before selecting the scenarios for the ATDM analysis, the user must first configure the ATDM strategies. The tabs in these window show the different types of strategies. There are four key types, demand management, weather management, incident management, and workload management, as well as strategies for ramp metering and hard shoulder running. For this video, we will configure some incident management strategies. To do this, select the incident management tab. For the traffic control with on-site traffic management teams, we will choose to have there be an incident duration reduction of minutes. For the variable message signs strategy, we will choose to have there be a 10% uh, diversion. Once the strategies have been configured, the user must then create ATDM plans. To do this, choose the ATDM plan designer option from the menu bar. The user can choose to assign any set of strategies to each plan. For this video, we will choose to assign our incident management strategies that we just configured. To do this, select the checkbox next to the strategy. To help differentiate between plans, they can be given a name. For example, we will name this plan incident management. With the ATDM plan created, it is now time for the user to select the scenarios to be included in the ATDM analysis. The user can view scenarios by selecting them in the main table, and they can see how the ATDM plan affects performance with, by looking at the bottom table. For example, looking at scenario 13, we can see that the travel time has improved by two minutes. For this example, we are going to select all scenarios that have two or more incidents to be included in the analysis. To do this, we will first sort the table by the number of incidents. Next, we will click on the first scenario and then go all the way down in the table to the scenario, the last scenario with two incidents. By holding down shift and clicking on this scenario, we can highlight all scenarios in between. Next, we need to mark them for inclusion in the ATDM analysis by right-clicking and selecting the Check All Highlighted Scenarios option. Next, we need to assign the incident management plan to the group of selected scenarios. To do this, again, right-click on the selected set, use the Assign Plan to Group option, and select the incident management plan. Now that we've selected a group of scenarios and assigned a plan, the user should choose the Create ATDM Set for Selected Scenarios button. Notice that the ATDM set is now included in the Project Navigator. Each scenario that was included in the analysis is now represented as a folder
that contains an ATDM scenario. For example, for scenario 13, we can look at the result contours and see the improvement gained from the ATDM plan. This is the original scenario, and this is the, a the scenario under the ATDM plan. To view the effects of the ATDM analysis on the entire set, the user should select the Summary option from the FreeVal toolbox. There are two types of outputs that can be viewed. The first simply looks at the performance improvement of the scenarios in the set. The second option project projects the improvement into the entire reliability analysis. For this video, however, we will only look at the first option. The analysis summary for the ATDM looks very similar to that of the analysis summary for the reliability. However, now there are two sets of summary performance measures, one for the before ATDM set and one for the after ATDM set. Both the before and after are also shown on the two graphs. The information pertaining to the before set is shown in red and the information pertaining to the after set is shown in blue. Thank you for watching this demonstration video. For further assistance, please feel free to contact us at the email address seen here.